Um, or seeing a place, a plane up close usually means one thing for, for most of us, and that is it's time for a holiday. But that's not quite what Alex Carr thinks about when he sees one, and we can join him now from his home in Southend to find out why. Good morning, Alex. Thank you very much for joining us today. So that house where we see you in, this beautiful idyllic garden behind you. Good morning, you. Holly. Good morning. You've lived there for 27 years. Why buy somewhere so close to the airport? Yeah, that's right. Because the... Uh... Because the airport uh, that we moved next to in 1992 had cargo, uh, light aircraft um, and maintenance. And it, and it wasn't the airport that's now been redeveloped um, and is, uh, has ambitious plans to have five million passengers by 2022. Well, the, uh, the, the shot that we just took then was a live shot of the 1055 Ryanair flight from, uh, from South to Palma, Mallorca. Um, uh, and so... Um, the, the issue is, I suppose, uh, of course, is that all of London's airports are congested uh, and, and increasing passenger numbers, so with Gatwick and uh, Heathrow and Stansted and Luton. Wasn't it inevitable that uh, the, an airport with a runway that's long enough to take big jets was going to get busier? There was going to be an expansion of that airfield? It wasn't that inevitable in our view. Uh, Philip, because um, when we bought here, um, as I say, it, it was a has-been. Um, the high heyday of, of South End Airport was back in the 60s and early 70s, and the air traffic that, uh, that took care of the passengers in those days had left and really been taken over by the likes of Stansted and uh, Luton. Um, so it, it, it was a, a very quiet municipal airport that never had the space to be able to expand to, to what it's become now. So actually, the problem is, it's not so much the aeroplanes when they're taking off, it's the taxing, isn't it? Because as they revamp South End, uh, it's the Charlie Taxiway that is open that runs right past the bottom of your garden. And with this brings the noise, the fumes, the pollution, all which is affecting your life. We can see how close your house is there on, that, on the graphic yeah, that... that we've actually got on the telly. We're showing that, uh, that right now. How, what impact does it have on you? Yeah. Well, it, it is the health issues that we're very worried about because um, now they've reopened Charlie Taxiway and instead of taxiing up and down the runway, um, they, uh, the, the, use of, the use of... Sorry, I'm getting some interference on here. Um, but the, but, but the use of the Charlie taxiway means that aircraft are, are increasingly uh, increasing in their number. Oh, Ryanair have just started to, uh, uh, to, to, to fly from South End Airport for, from this month. So it's only going to be busier, and which would mean that more and more uh, aircraft are going to be waiting um, for other aircraft to land. And that means that they're going to be yards away from the back of our fence. And so you say that um, you, uh, you have to, be, when you go inside, you, uh, you've got to close the windows, uh, you can smell the, 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 the fuel from mm. outside in your garden? Oh, yeah. And sometimes you can taste it. Uh, so, yeah, it's making it horrendous now. So once, you know, or once was municipal airport with, with, the, with, with planes taking off and landing on the runway, which I've got no problem with, is now causing us a problem because of the stacking literally yards from the back of the fence. So our objective really is to, to ask and plead with the airport to move the taxiway to the, up to the north side of the runway where there's no residential houses and that will lessen the effect, in fact, probably eliminate it. Um, and it's just trying to get the powers that be to listen, uh, you know, to our pleads uh, and acknowledge, you know, the position that they've put us in. And do you worry about what this has done to the value of your home? I think that's secondary, Holly. Um, obviously, um, you know, it, it's going to limit the type of people that would want to buy a property like this. It's going to be probably only to people that are plane spotters or people that have got no sense of smell or are deaf. Um, but, you know, you know, the airport don't really care about that. As long as they get the aeroplanes aer up and into the air as quickly as possible and they get more seats, you know, on, you know, or, you know more bums on seats, then that's really all they're worried about. Um, they, they say that they're continuing to monitor air quality, which remains considerably below government limits. Well, that's what they say. Um, you know... I'm no expert with regards to those limits, but if you can taste and you can smell those type of fumes, which I've read reports that say there are 60 to 70 times more pollution coming out of aircraft than there is in a busy London street, and we know 
from just the weekend with regards to extinction uh, revolution or rebellion, um, the type of highlights uh, that those people are making to the pollution that, uh, that we're having to breathe in, that cannot be good. It can't be good for children's lungs. You know, basically, would they want it on their doorstep? No, they wouldn't. The, uh, we've got a flight radar uh, app uh, at the moment. You can uh, you can see there's a there's a plane pretty much over the top of you about to come in to land. Now there is no no doubt that listening to the owners of the airport, they do have grand plans for it. There is an opportunity here for them to uh, to, oh, to to expand. How do you feel about that? Well, again, I think that, um, quite frankly, it's, a, it's not a suitable place to expand any further than they have done. Uh, it was a municipal airport. Um, it wasn't suitable for expansion, and that's why Stansted and Luton, you know, in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s, really took over that business from Southend's, you know, 600,000 passengers in, the, in 1966. Uh, and, and really, there were no plans and no transparency that Southend was ever going to be a major airport again. In fact, they've built to the, to the south, uh, to the southeast of, the, of, of Southend Airport. Uh, there's been major developments around here. They're blocked by, by one end, by the, the A127, by the, by the other end, uh, by the east end, uh, by, by the Liverpool Street main line. Um, so they're very confined. And it's a bit like looking at Hyde Park and thinking, well, that's a nice green part of land. Uh, let's build an airport there. No houses will be built round here now if the airport existed in its current state. Well, let's hope um, that... So this uh, is purely and simply, a, you know, a, a, an evolution. Yeah, uh, between you and the, uh, and the airport yeah, uh, themselves, so. you can come to some sort of uh, reasonable conclusion from, uh, from all of you. But thank you very much indeed, uh, Alex, for joining us this morning. Thank, thank you. you very much.